Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jocelyn and today I'm going to be doing a review of Happiest Season. So as I said last week, I'm not sure how much of Vlogmas I'm going to do this year, but what I am going to try and do is make all of my posts coming out on like the regularly scheduled vibe, semi-Christmas themed. Hopefully we'll be able to stick to that. So this is Vlogmas number two. Just like three days ago, I watched the movie The Happiest Season, which is a new Christmas movie on Hulu, which starring Kristen Stewart and Mackenzie Davis in a Christmas themed like home for Christmas supposedly rom-com. And so I have so many thoughts about this movie and so I want to share them with you. Just a warning, if you are going to watch this movie there's going to be spoilers so if you do like want to watch it and if this is something you want to watch I recommend watching it ahead of time because I'm going to just spoil everything because I am quite simply sharing my thoughts with you that's why I called this a reaction and not a review. Before I forget make sure if you're not already subscribed you subscribe to the channel and you hit the like button on this video because it'll do great things for my channel ratings, etc. Okay, diving in. Starting with the very beginning of the movie, I thought the beginning was so cute when it was rolling through like their little like opening montage and then them running through the streets and together. Like Mackenzie Davis and Kristen Stewart are a couple in this movie. And then they like had the whole scene where like they tried to like run on top of someone's house and Mackenzie Davis is trying to convince Kristen Stewart to love Christmas. And like genuinely the whole thing just like made my heart warm, made me so happy. I really enjoyed watching it and it made me excited to watch the rest of the movie and genuinely just this was the absolute cutest part of the entire movie. If you were looking for a rom-com, to be fair it was downhill from here. One of the biggest things that I think was a failure in the marketing of this movie, well was a failure in this movie was the marketing because if you watch the trailer, if you watch anything, it looked like it was going to be a rom-com, cute movie. This is way more of like a dramedy vibe. Emotions like everywhere. And I watch so many Hallmark movies. And because of that, I think I was a little more forgiving to a lot of like the whack thing that happened in it than other people in their reviews. But I still feel like this was somewhat lacking in like romance per se. And more like the core of the movie was like the emotional trauma. So getting into why I feel that way about the movie and it's mostly Harper who was played by Mackenzie Davis. So basically the plot of the movie is that Harper's character wants to take Abby, Kristen Stewart's character, home for Christmas because Abby just doesn't really love Christmas. Her parents died when she was 19 and she never really like was able to celebrate Christmas after that. So Harper asked Abby to come home with her for Christmas. Abby says yes. And then the next morning, Harper wakes up and tries to tell Kristen Stewart that she no longer has to come home for Christmas and she feels bad for convincing her, etc. Red flag. But anyways, Abby decides she wants to come home for Christmas anyways. And they're in the car, literally almost there. And then Harper tells Abby that she's not out to her parents yet. And now also flag on the play because Harper lied and told Abby that she had been out to her parents for like since the summer when like they came out and took it really well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So first off, I also want to say that like there's no problem with not being completely out, but there is a problem when you lie and take your partner home. So then that's like the whole like plot of the movie though. I feel like it's very classic like Christmas rom-com Hallmark vibes where like you take someone home for Christmas who's not your significant other and then fall in love with them. Like it's kind of a flip on that where you're taking someone home who is and then they have to prove that they're not. So I thought it was cute. Good idea for a plot fine idea for a plot if not good then right away when they get to the house Harper's mother said that Abby and Harper should have separate rooms since like they're grown adults whatever and then Harper does nothing and then Abby has to sleep in a completely separate room in the basement alone the entire time and like that's like the very first time where Harper ditches Abby but then every single time Harper just spends more time with her parents the entire time which is fine if you're going home for the holidays but she leaves Abby alone constantly she goes out with friends and leaves Abby constantly like even if you were bringing your friend home for Christmas you should not be ditching them that much and the entire movie was just Abby being left completely alone into her own devices so that Harper could wander around and be with her friends be with her family and Harper kept apologizing but she was being horrible and then to make matters worse there's like an ex-boyfriend in the picture classic and Harper's family obviously really wants her to be with this boy and Harper keeps flirting with this boy. Like, why? Why? 
I understand that you're not gonna tell your family that you're gay, but why do you have to be super touchy, super flirty with your ex-boyfriend when you know that he is into you, when you know your whole family wants you guys to be together? That's whack, that's out of line, and quite frankly, I would have broken up with her right there. Ooh, that made me so mad. So, if you're seeing people saying that they hate Harper, if you're seeing me saying I hate Harper, that is why. It's because she literally acted the entire movie. So first off, the lead up before they went to the parents' house was like five minutes long tops. And then everything Harper actually did for the whole movie was ditching Kristen Stewart, was flirting with her ex-boyfriend, was being horrible to her. And then we're expected to want them to be together. Like what? Yeah, but that being said, for as much as I've roasted Harper in this, I actually really did enjoy watching this movie. I would recommend that you watch this movie, but before I get there, I have a few more bad things. The first of these would be the fact that Harper is an orphan because her parents both died when she was 19. I don't think it was ever explained how it actually went down, but Abby's entire family is obsessed with the fact that Harper is an orphan, or the fact that Abby is an orphan. Like literally every single scene when she gets introduced to any family member, they're like, oh, the orphan. Anything goes wrong, oh, we get it, you're an orphan. Like, I think it was supposed to be funny, but the whole thing just fell a little flat with how aggressively they were harping on it. And it made me kind of uncomfy. I don't know. I don't know. So that's the first thing, slightly small. The second thing that really bothered me about this movie was like the lack of diversity in the cast aside for the fact that the two main characters and the ex-girlfriend were gay. So basically there were, in all my cast except for the brother-in-law slash like Harper's sister's husband and he was the only black person in the whole movie I think and then they had two mixed children. So like the three of them were the only black people in the entire movie and they were played by the family in a very like Basically the father was running for mayor and they basically used that family as like a diversity prop in the movie family. But I felt like it was never adequately like addressed the way they were using that family. And then the fact that they were the only black people in the whole movie was like weird, I don't know. Like it made me a little uncomfy how the character in the movie were using the black family as props. But then like, I guess it became kind of meta because they were also props in the movie of real life actors, so. But yeah, you should know that going in, especially if you're like looking for representation, unless you're a white lesbian, it's not really there. Now that I've gotten all of my complaints out of the way, moving on to what I loved about this movie. And number one thing I loved about the movie, Aubrey Plaza. So essentially what happened in this movie is that Harper has her ex-boyfriend who she's off flirting with the entire movie. And then Harper also has an ex-girlfriend who we find out she never told anyone about and basically outed her in order to keep herself in the closet still. And Aubrey Plaza, the outed ex-girlfriend, is amazing, literally made the entire movie. I do not think that I would have enjoyed it nearly as much had she not been in it. First off, she befriends Kristen Stewart and is basically her only friend and person in her corner the entire movie, the entire time they're home. And Kristen Stewart and Aubrey Plaza's chemistry like literally I understand why everyone wants them to be together after watching the movie because they belong together. It was incredible. And then even in scenes where she wasn't directly interacting with Kristen Stewart, she was there for kind of like the eye roll commentary in the back. Basically everything I was doing sitting at home watching this movie, Aubrey Plaza was doing on screen in the background of all of the scenes. Actually let me know in the comments if you feel differently about Aubrey Plaza because so far I haven't met anyone who didn't watch the movie and absolutely fall in love with her. Another thing I loved about this movie was Jane. So Jane is the middle child, I think, basically, in Harper's family. She was super quirky, super weird, and kind of the forgotten child in the family dynamic, and I loved her. She was absolutely hilarious. She was the only genuinely good person in this entire family. And let me not forget Kristen Stewart's outfit. Literally wardrobe of every character, but especially Kristen Stewart, so freaking good. It literally, like, I don't even know. How did they not know she was gay when she was wearing this? So, who knows? But literally every single scene she came in looking so great, so fire. And yeah, I really am a huge Kristen Stewart fan, if you couldn't tell. The end of the movie, Abby's gonna leave Harper and then there's this huge explosion in Harper's family. Harper ends up basically being forced out and then coming out on her own 
Abby leaves anyways, Harper runs after her. Harper like finds her at a gas station and basically like begs for her back, says that she's sorry, and Abby takes her back and then they go home for Christmas and have a good Christmas together where they're like being super touchy and cute together despite the fact that her family was homophobic like two hours ago. So yeah, that's the plot. I like the fact that Abby and Harper ended up together because it is a Christmas Hallmarky vibe movie and I think that's what it should be, but I just don't think the movie gave me enough reason to love Abby and Harper together. That being said, I absolutely love the movie because of Kristen Stewart and Aubrey Plaza and I do think there were parts of this movie that were funny even if I think there was it was actually really weighty and there were parts that made me like start crying, feel really emotional. Like, I do think, especially if you've had similar experiences to Harper and Abby throughout the movie, it is a very emotional slash heavy movie. But I did enjoy watching it. It is fun to have a gay Christmas movie because I just don't think there's a lot of those out there that aren't period dramas. Yeah, I wish they had done a little more in the either the beginning or the end to make me love Abby and Harper together. And I wish Harper wasn't the worst, but I would watch this movie again. I probably will watch this movie again, like, before this video comes out, to be honest. But overall, if I were to give it a rating, I would give it four out of five stars, would watch again, would recommend you watch it, but just be aware going in that it's not gonna be as lighthearted as the trailer makes it seem. Yeah, so let me know if you have any other Christmas rom-com recommendations in the comments below, or just movie recommendations in general. What did you guys think of The Happiest Season? Did you love Aubrey Plaza? Did you hate Mackenzie Davis? Let me know. Spill all the tea. If you haven't already, like this video, please, it really helps me, and subscribe to the channel for more Vlogmas videos coming to you every Wednesday and then all the videos after that. And I'll see you next week!